Welcome back to the film room. Today we're going to talk about John Mechie, the former Alabama receiver who went at 44th overall to the Houston Texans in this year's draft. He was definitely a questionable pick for some people. I definitely questioned at the time, but the more I've looked into him, the more it makes sense. He really fits the Texans culture and kind of the kind of guys they want to bring in. But today we're going to go into his tape. We're going to look at his game versus Georgia in this year's SEC championship where Alabama beat them and then, you know, went on to lose in the national championship. Mechie did get hurt in this game, like I think right before the half, but his first half was very impressive. And, you know, I'm hoping he has a full recovery. I'm pretty sure he's projected too. And he had a lot of great football in this half. So we're going to talk about his game here and my projections for him at the next level. Before we do that, though, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel as well if you enjoy. Comment your thoughts down below on Mechie, Houston fans, and, you know, Bama fans. Also, let me know what you thought of him and just more prospects I should feature down below. But without any further ado, let's get into the tape. So here's our first play. We're just going to look at a really good route that he ran and you know not too much to say i think other than it was just a good route i liked his feet throughout i like you know the way he so stops at the break point i like the way he chops his feet and i've done a lot of receiver film rooms so far this year so i feel like i've gotten a good semblance of kind of where they're at and like christian watson was a guy who i liked a lot but his route running needs some refinement his feet he chopped him for a little too long it was a little too predictable but mechie here i love this route and i love what he did with it and just the way he uses his feet eventually i think it was a similar play in which he got hurt actually but i just love the way he chops his feet and it's very impressive now here's our next play this is going to be a really really good rep because i heard a lot that he wasn't very explosive on tape he didn't run a great 40 time or he didn't end up running a 40 time but i think he wasn't supposed to run a great 40 time and i heard people say that he really didn't have that speed on tape either and that was kind of the concern with them but we're going to look at this route and I thought this was a ton of explosiveness. There he is in the slide. He's going to run a slot fade and just get outside the numbers and then go up and make this catch. And I just love the way that he gets off the line. And we're just going to see, you know, how he uses that in the slot. And I just, you know, he cuts this in, gets the corner of the safety, I guess, to kind of flip his hips outside then cuts back into his blind spot. And then, you know, the safety kind of stumbles a little bit. Mechie is just tracking this ball really well down the field, makes a great hands catch and goes down with the ball, you know, through like, you know, potential contact. Thought this was just really good play, especially against this Georgia defense in the SEC championship. And it's something that, you know, he can bring to the next level pretty consistently. Now here's our next one. This is just going to be a stolen release. We're not going to touch too long on it, but I just loved this play. Just the way, I mean, oof, just flies right by him. I love you know, these kind of stolen releases, which are just, if you don't know, them, they're releases on run plays. They're just kind of feeling the corner out, trying to get some kind of setup and seeing what they can get. Had some really good ones that we looked at in the George Pickens versus um, LSU game from, you know, I think that was the first real film room I did. Check that out if you're interested. I thought that was a really fun one to do. I love George Pickens, but the stolen releases, I think, are a good indicator because this corner, it's a run play, so you can invalidate it if you want, but this corner is playing him like it's a pass and he just flies right by him. And I think that it's really impressive and shows what he can do with that really advanced release package. Now we're gonna see a really good double move he's gonna do right here and he's gonna get a touchdown. He just moves inside well. This guy's having to really, you know, compensate there. Bryce Young got a lot of time in the pocket to be fair. And then Mechie gonna cut this back around and have really good bend in this route. So this guy's honestly blinking at him pretty well through the first move, but he's gonna just turn up field and just immediately be looking for the ball. Bryce Young puts it in a good spot and has a great hands catch for the touchdown. And, you know, against Georgia defense, you know, this is this is a very, very impressive rep and something that he just kind of, he kept dominating in this game through his route running. Now here's another one, it's gonna be a really, this is gonna be an even better stolen release, I think against the same corner. Watch him full speed, he's gonna fly by him inside. I mean, that's a lot of separation. Again, the corner then realizes, you know, once he, gets his eyes in the backfield that this is not a you know not a pass play but he's gonna dig in outside and then just boom explode past him at about this point i think you know he realizes that it's not so maybe from here to here is not super valid but i love this i love his release package i just really can't stress that enough how impressed i was by his releases like throughout this whole game they looked really really good now here is Another great route that he's just going to sell this vertical. You're going to see he's going to come back here, kind of a hitch or a curl, whatever you want to call it. Just a little comeback even. But you're going to see, I mean, the way he just chops his feet 
his route running is just so impressive and that's really my number one trait that i look for in receivers i love speed and explosiveness and hands and all that but i love good route running because if you can't get open there's going to not be a lot for you to do in the nfl so guys that can get open especially against high level college corners that's why i love chris olave so much that's why he was my receiver one uh john mechie gonna do this as well and you're gonna see like i mean just look how well he sells this i mean he's fighting his hands he looks like he's trying to speed up to the pylon i mean look i mean he is selling this so well and then cuts this guy reacts pretty well honestly this corner this is a good i don't know if this is ringo this might be i'm not sure i just have heard his name i don't remember which number he is but good route gonna catch this you know get a little you know maybe a yard after the catch if anything and just another we can't really see much extra from this angle but still a good route and now we have one more play to look for and it's gonna be our last play of the video again he got hurt after this this is in the two minute drill there's about a minute 20 left here and we're just gonna see what he can do just you know staying aware it's gonna be a pretty good route there's gonna be a bit of a miscommunication as this guy's gonna go double him maybe he's doesn't look like he's even reading the eyes so he's just gonna go double this in and Mechie's wide open there on the out route goes up and get it a little bit high and then he's just gonna accelerate get out of bounds and make sure the clock stays you know for Alabama good rep good throw from Bryce Young he had a lot of great throws this game but you know a little high maybe still good you know didn't really let his momentum lead him too much so he kind of had to stop but then good play from Mechie to get up field and get this out of bounds so that's going to wrap it up for our film breakdown again this is just looking at his first half pretty much before he got injured but I'm a big fan of him I've seen more of his tape that you know I'm not going to touch on today but I just want to get a quick you know that's what I'm trying to do is not get too many details you know we don't have to spend 20 plays on each guy but you know I'm just going to give you the highlights and a lot of the plays that I found interesting and see you know I can help you guys know some more about some of these prospects so thank you for watching and now we're gonna, let's talk a little bit about my expectations for him at the next level again I think he's gonna fit really well in Houston as a compliment to Brandon Cooks and I don't remember who else they have in that receiver room to be completely honest besides like Nico Collins but he has a lot of the qualities of guys who go kind of in the later rounds aren't like these huge athletic freaks they're gonna go first round top 10 receiver prospects that end up really outperforming their draft stock and being good receivers i mean think even justin jefferson who went late round one Devonte adams who went round two a lot of these guys that are generally a bit slower i mean not that justin jefferson and Devonte adams are slow but they're not you know these four three burners that are gonna beat you with speed every play they're gonna be guys that are gonna win with their you know route running and their technique and their craft in that sense as opposed to just winning with pure athleticism, which is still great athletes. Sean Mechie is still a really good athlete, but he's not going to blow you away with his athleticism. So I think he's going to be a really good player in the NFL if he you know, bounces back healthy. He's going to get a lot of targets, I think, in that Houston receiver room as Davis Mills, probably safety blanket. And I just had a lot of fun watching him, and I think he's going to be a really good player at the next level. So let me know what you think of John Mechie. And again, thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed, suggest more prospects down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.